Hey, let me show you 12 tips to fix battery drain issue on the Google Pixel 8a. So first of all, we are starting from the settings. So go to the app drawer, open the settings. And now we have to navigate into the Google section. There it is. Now we have to go into the devices and the sharing. Go for devices and now be sure that you turn off scan for the Nervi devices. So this function is actually working in the background and draining our battery. And we have to do the same for the keyboard. So we have to go back from this and now we have to go for the system. And then we have to go for the keyboard. And now when you are in the keyboard settings, we have to actually select on screen keyboard, go into the Gboard. This is actually the default keyboard that we are using. And we have to scroll down until we find this function of the uh, privacy and now i can recommend you to turn off share usage statistics because it's actually automatically sent keyboard usage statistic statistics to the google it's also draining our battery a little bit then we are going back from this one and we have to navigate into the location then scroll to the location services and be sure that you turn off the wi-fi scanning and also the bluetooth scanning so both of these functions we have to actually turn off and it works the same for the location. So if you don't need the location to be turned on, just remember to turn it on. The same for the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. For example, if you are connected to the mobile network, you don't need Wi-Fi to be turned on. So you can just click here and vice versa with the Wi-Fi and the same for the Bluetooth. Just be sure that you turn it on and off when you are not, when you are not using this kind of the connection. Next, we have to go into the another settings. So we have to go into the security and the privacy. And then we have to scroll to the security and the privacy. It will be up yours right here. And now we have to turn off this personalize, personalize using app data. So it also allow apps to send content to the Android system and also the usage diagnostic, turn it off. Next, we have to go back from this and now we will navigate into the display settings. So in the displays, we can all display, we can also find a lot of options that we can change. So first of all, uh, just remember to control your brightness level. If you don't need 100% of the brightness, you can try to lower it for 90, 80 or 70. If there is like night time, you can even set 50 or 40. Next option, remember about the screen timeout. If you sometimes forget about your phone, I mean, you put the phone like this go away, there's like 10 minutes that your screen is turned on and it's actually taking the battery. So remember to switch for the 30 seconds or for example, 50 seconds or even the one minute even at that time. Next, uh, it's also recommended to turn on the dark theme because the dark theme actually draining battery less. But in this video, I'm gonna just bring the white because it looks a little bit better and everything is actually more visible. Next. Uh, we have to go into the smooth display and as you can see right here, we can get even 120 Hertz refresh rate. But if your battery level is low, it's worth to turn it off because it's draining the battery really, really much. Then uh, you have to also remember about the battery saver. Yeah, there's this function that appears just right here. So just be sure that you turn it on uh, the battery saver or even the extreme battery saver it also will give you some additional time uh, without grabbing the charger and recharging your smartphone we can also remember about uh, this battery usage i mean we have to set up the battery usage for application so when we are in this battery settings we have to go for the battery usage it will appears right here and now as you can see we can find all apps uh, that actually drain our battery the most. So we can actually search for some apps, as you can see. In my case, the, go the Google Play Store was actually working for three hours in the background. So I can actually click on the restrict, and now it's not going to work in the background anymore. And you can do this for every application that you have on your phone. Now, it will be also useful uh, if you actually get rid of all apps that you are not using on the smart on the smartphone so if you download a little a lot of different apps and you don't need them just remember to take them out of your phone because they are also uh, popping up in the background connecting to the wi-fi to the mobile data to the bluetooth to the location and draining your battery and this is it for this video all tips to fix the battery drain issue on the pixel 8a 
And that's all right now, please subscribe.